Hey finders, welcome back to Fortune Finds. Yesterday I was on the phone with my aunt. I put her on speakerphone and I was just sitting at my vanity and I did this look and then when I was done I looked at it and I so regretted not filming it. I went on my Instagram stories and was like, guys, I should have filmed this. Like, what do you guys think? And everyone messaged me and was like, how did you do this? Like, how did you get that overall glow? So that's what we're focusing on today, an overall glow in a minimal amount of time. I always say this on my channel, when you're trying to go for a dewier look, Use as many cream products as possible. Steer away from the powder because what powder does is it sucks that moisture out of your skin and takes away that dewiness that you can really, really achieve. Also, side note, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I really do need to get better at posting, but I am heavy in the Instagram stories. I love them. So if you wanna see a little bit more of the makeup, more of the beauty, and just a little bit more into my life, be sure to follow me on Instagram. I'll put my handle here so you guys can follow me. I would love to have you guys there as well. Also, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? Click the subscribe button, become a part of my Fortune Finds family. We are growing every day. We're almost at 200 subscribers, which I'm so, so excited about. I have some new ideas. I want to throw some vlogs in here. I want to maybe do three videos a week, which is a little bit daring, but something that I definitely want to dabble in and try. So yeah, let's get into it. I'm so excited about today's look and I feel like it is easy and accomplishable and that anyone can do it. So without further ado, let's stop babbling and let's get on to the dewy skin spring glam makeup tutorial so here we are hair is pulled back and I am ready to get my glam on this is gonna be a really soft glam something really easy dewy I really want the highlight and dewiness of my skin to do most of the talking I've already done my skincare so I've washed my face and then I exfoliated using the Dermalogica micro daily exfoliant whatever it is called i will link it down below and then yeah that's where i'm at let's go ahead and we're going to do the skin first i'm going to be using my olay age defying this is their classic daily renewal cream and as you can see there is barely any left i'm like scraping the bottom i'm going to do an empties video soon i was actually thinking about like old youtube and all of the videos that i ever watched and a lot of them were like empties would i rebuy them things like that. So I think I'm going to do one just because I'm in the mood and I think I'm going to be doing some different things on my channel. If you follow me on Instagram, I was actually talking in my stories about how I'm going to do a vlog or I think I'm going to test out a vlog here on my channel. So I would still upload two videos a week related to beauty, but then I would throw a vlog in there as like a bonus third video. I don't know when I would upload it, maybe like a Saturday morning. Not sure yet but I'm in the midst of recording some stuff. We're gonna see how that goes and then I'm gonna decide. So stay tuned for that. We really want the skin to be moisturized and really luminous. We don't wanna see any like crackly skin through it. We just want perfect, perfect skin and that is really what we're focusing on today. The NARS Radiance Primer, love this stuff. I'm gonna use about like that much, not too much. And I'm gonna focus this in the center of my face and then blend it out from the center. And I'm really going to make sure I get the highest points of my cheeks. Anywhere that you really want to highlight. Today I'm really focusing on highlighting the entire face. So I am going to put this everywhere. But if you want to do a spot highlight, like just put this where you want to be super dewy. But you can already see how dewy my skin is just from applying that primer. It really helps give you that dewy look with minimal effort. So now for foundation today, I'm going to be using the Clinique chubby in the nude foundation stick and I'm in the shade voluptuous vanilla and I'm just gonna draw this like around anywhere I have a little discoloration so I have redness in the center of my face this will just glide on there you're gonna notice how easily this just goes on it's not stiff like usual and that's because we have a lot of moisturization on our skin if you were to go in with a beauty blender and blend out this foundation you're really going to cover up that illuminating primer so then really what's the point of using that primer in order to keep that luminosity below the skin i'm going to use a brush a brush isn't as high coverage as a sponge so we're going for a light dewy coverage today jh03 and i'm just gonna push this into the skin and this is gonna give like the lightest coverage just make sure it's all blended out this is one of my favorite foundations for the summertime it's just like creamy it blends in it's not too heavy on the skin and y'all know i like sweat a lot i have a sweating problem make sure you get it underneath blend that on below the jawline otherwise you're going to have that demarcation where it's just like a line here and it doesn't match your neck 
So make sure to do that. My concealer today is just going to be the huge. This is the Catrice Cosmetics Liquid Camouflage High Coverage Concealer, and I'm in the shade Light Natural. I'm not going to use too much of this. I'm literally going to put it under the eyes, around the nose where I get red, a little bit down my nose, and on my chin. Brush from Mikasa. This is their F300, and I'm literally just going to like tap this into the skin. And I am very dark right here. I'm a little blue there, so I'm going to bring it over my eyelid as well. Use that to prime the eyelids because we are going to go in with a little bit of shadow. I'm just going to use one more concealer. This is the Koki Be Bright Illuminating Concealer and I'm in the shade Medium Beige. And I'm just going to throw this over top. I kind of want my skin to be all one shade. And that Catrice one I forgot is just like a little too light. Now I really do like this concealer for days when you're going to go for a dewy, not so high coverage effect. This is super natural, this concealer. And I'm literally just going over everywhere I just put the first concealer so we had to go back in make an adjustment but it's fine and I feel like that just looks a lot more natural it's not like too bright on the center of the face for the brows today we are keeping it simple I'm just gonna take a spoolie now I did pluck them yesterday so just make sure your brows are a little bit in order or they don't have to be I really do love myself a messy brow mine are a little bit messier than they've been because just because I'm trying to grow them out. Essence Make Me Brow Eyebrow Gel Mascara. I am using the shade Brownie Brows and I'm just brushing them up. And this is gonna give somewhat of like a very subtle tint to the brows. So we're not really filling them in, but you can see it's a little bit darker than this one. I'm just placing them where they need to be placed. I'm covering up any bald spots that are within them because this gel is going to really keep them in place for the rest of the day. So to powder today, I'm going to be using my favorite drugstore pressed powder. This is the Rimmel Stay Matte. Look at how old this is. It's like you can't even read it anymore. And I just have this little powder puff in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take the powder puff, fold it in half, and I am going to stamp out any of the creases that occurred under my eye, like so. And I'm just going to set my under eye very lightly. Now I'm gonna go up top, take those creases out of the top of my eyelid because remember we did put that concealer up there. And then do the same exact thing up top. I'm gonna be using bronzer and highlighter today on the eyes. So if we powder our eyes, it makes it a little easier for that kind of stuff to go on. So that's the only location that I'm gonna powder for right now. I might wanna go ahead and throw a little bit more powder on my face later, but we'll get there. So I will keep this to the side. My Stay Matte Rimmel, love this stuff. Heart Tipsy Cheek Stain. I'm gonna stamp this on the apples of my cheeks. JH05, and I'm just gonna stamp this and blend this out. Now, if you ever go in with too much cream blush and you're looking at your face and you're like, wow, I applied way too much, just go back in with your foundation brush and just stamp over it. That will take some of that rouge away. I'm kind of happy with a little bit more rouge lately, so I'm gonna go in a little bit more. What's ever left over on my brush, I'm just going over my nose. I feel like this gives a really like youthful, sunburned, almost like winded effect. I'm going to keep it simple today and I'm not contouring my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab my bronzer. I'm using the MAC Dark Golden Mineral Skin Finish Bronzer M575 and I'm just going to literally contour my eyes. It doesn't need to be precise. I'm just throwing this in the crease just to create a little bit of dimension, a little bit more structure to the eye. And then I'm throwing it underneath my eyelid as well. And then I'm going to connect the two. So I'm going to take a little bit on here. And then what I like to do is I just flick it up from like the side and then swoop it on underneath. I kind of like to throw it inside like that. You guys know how I like to flick my crease shade in. Now going into this highlighter, this is the Daisy and Pearl Natural Radiance Booster by Seraphine Botanicals. Love this packaging, so sophisticated, and it's kind of like pinky iridescent highlight. So I'm going to use this all over the eyes. Now I'm just going to pat this all along my lid, stamping that. And I use my opposite hand and opposite finger because I find that it's easier to control where you're putting it so they'll look more even. If that makes any sense. It definitely does to me. I want that to be a little bit more pigmented and bright. I'm going to take a flat brush. This is just a illuminator brush by... 
I have no idea who that is, but it looks like this. It's just like a flat brush. I spray it using my Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, and then I'm going to go back into that highlighter, and I'll coat both sides, and then I'm just gonna pack that on to the eyelid. And I'll push this into the crease, and I'm just pushing this everywhere. I love this highlight for the eyes. I haven't tried it on my cheekbones yet. I feel like it's a little too pink for me, but I love it on the eyes. It's so pretty. And it just goes to show you that just because something says it's one thing doesn't mean you can't use it in multiple places. So I'm gonna take this eyeliner. This is the Sinful Colors Stop and Stare Gel Eyeliner in the shade Seductive. Pink shade that has some rose gold reflex in it. And it also somewhat matches that highlight. So you can kind of just go in there and go for it. It doesn't matter if it looks messy. It's kind of just like pink shimmer going on top of what's already pretty pink. I mean, you can definitely see it. It's so, so pretty, but you know, don't be afraid to really get in there and just draw. At the very end, I'm just gonna flick it up like a little bit like that. I'm just really like putting it into the lash line. I'm making sure it's covering every inch right above that there's no gel liner missing. Throw this underneath the waterline and on the waterline. So I'm gonna put it like right under the lashes. I hope you guys can see this. It's so hard to like do this and look semi somewhat like decent looking. So I'm putting this right under the lashes and then I'm gonna put it on the waterline as well. I'm gonna put some in the inner corner. I feel like usually when I apply liner, I'm so scared, but this is a really light eyeliner that's so, so pretty. And it's really just adding to that illuminating effect. Tweezer Man Eyelash Curler. This is specifically for almond eyes, but they also sell one for round eyes. And I'm just gonna curl the lashes. And then for mascara today, I'm gonna be using my two favorite mascaras together. So this is the Collab, the Works Wow Effect All-in-One Mascara. This is amazing. It gives me like those full, spidery, very long lashes. I'm really into this. The only thing is, is that it is brand new, so a lot of product does come out. So what I like to do when I have a brand new mascara that I want to use, I will keep a mascara that's on its last leg. I've told you guys this trick so many times before. This is my L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara. These are both just black mascaras. So I'm gonna apply the Collab one, and then I'll go in with L'Oreal just to clean it up and take away some of that excess product. But you can see like this wand just has so much product in it. Throw it on the lashes. And now I'm gonna go in with L'Oreal Telescopic. There's barely any product on this wand and just, you know, disperse that product a little bit better. You could go in with a spoolie, like if you have a clean spoolie that you haven't used. You know, I wouldn't go in with your brow spoolie because you're gonna get brow product in there. And then I'm gonna do the lower lashes using this one as well because the other one, it will go all over my face. Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops, and this is in the shade Celestial. This stuff is no joke, and I use this very sparingly. This highlight is bananas, but I'll show you guys, because I am gonna be working from the back of my hand anyway. Look how blinding that is. It's like unicorn tears in a highlighter. I like to work from the back of my hand. This way I don't get a huge glob of highlighter on my face. So I have some on my hand, I'm gonna put my finger in it, and I'm gonna dab this along the highest points of my cheeks, just like so. Pressing it in helps to melt the product, so see how blinding it is, but in person, it's very natural and super dewy. I actually bought this months and months ago, and I put it in my drawer and totally forgot about it. So this is not a new product. This is very well known in the beauty industry, but this is somewhat pretty much new to me. I'll take some more on my finger and I'm gonna put some right on the bridge of my brow bone. So right underneath my brow and kind of like mesh them together. Kind of creating like a weird shaped backwards C. Put it down the bridge of my nose just a little bit. Even put some like right up here. We are just gonna like sparkle they're gonna see us all the way in outer space. Like that's how Dewey we're going here. Just like look at that glow, it's so pretty. 
I'm gonna take a little bit more of this. You thought we were done, but we're not. I'm gonna take a pencil brush. This is the JH39. I'm gonna grab a little bit of that highlighter off the back of my hand, continually working off the back of my hand. It's easier, it's safer, trust me. I'm gonna put some on that brush, and then I'm gonna pat it out a little bit. And I'm gonna use this as an inner corner highlight. Look at how pretty that is. Once I place it, I let it settle for a little bit, not like 10 seconds, not even, and disperse the corners with that same brush. Make sure that that's really blended in. I'm just gonna wipe off that foundation from my lips. I don't really like that foundation look. Some people like it. I feel like it makes my lips look a little too crunchy. So for today's look, we're keeping the lips juicy. I told you guys, this is something that I am so in love with and we're just gonna keep the trend going. So I'm gonna line my lips. Today I'm using the Makeup Forever Artist Color Pencil in the shade Wherever Walnut. I'm not gonna overline them too, too much, but I am gonna overline them a little bit. So really just overlining them in the center and bringing it on into the natural location of my lips. This way they're not too like pouty. It looks more natural, less clownish. I'm just overlining that cupid's bow, which is the M of your lips up top. Bringing it into the natural curvature of my lip. That is the lips somewhat a little bit overdrawn. Now I want more of a soft lip. I don't really want that liner to be too, too dramatic and harsh. So I'm going to go in with a lip brush. You can take an eye brush or you can totally skip this step. This is not necessary, this is just a preference. So I'm gonna be grabbing this Vertex. This is one of their lip brushes. I got this on Amazon, I will definitely link this down below. And I'm just gonna kind of smooth out that line. I'm gonna push it into the lip. See, I'm kind of just like lightly going over it. I love this stuff, unfortunately. I think it's sold out everywhere. This is from Wet n Wild Summer Collection last year, but this is their Color Icon Lip Gloss in the shade Fly Gal. This was a limited edition collection from Wet n Wild. My aunt bought it for me. I love this shade so much that I literally have four backups. Morphe Continuous Setting Spray. And I'm just gonna spray my face. Now the beauty with this look is that we really didn't powder a lot of the face, so you can feel free to go in with even more cream product if you so need it. So that for me, it means throughout the day, if it moves around, if I get a little redness, if something is poking through my concealer that isn't necessarily underneath my eyes because I did powder my under eyes, I can still probably get away with it though because we really used a minimal amount. But that means like if throughout the day I notice like I'm a little red, like I can see right now, there's a little bit of redness around my nose that I should cover up a little bit more. I can just just feel free to go on in with that concealer. Go back in with my brush. I'm gonna use the Mikasa one and just go ahead and fix that. All right guys, and this is the finished beauty look. Let me know down below in the comments what do you guys think about this. Is this something that you can really get behind? Do you see yourself having do your skin, maybe a fresher, lighter look? I am so into quicker makeup routines. I just feel like they're so relatable. Like really, who has the time sometimes to sit down for a half an hour, 40 minutes to do their makeup? I do it because I love it. Like I love makeup so much, but I also have those days where, you know, I just wanna sit down at my vanity and get my makeup done in a limited amount of time. I wanna look put together, but I don't, don't wanna look too overdone. I wanna look natural and feminine. So I really hope that you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time as always. If you are not yet subscribed, please be sure to do so. I would love to have you here on my channel and also click that bell button this way you get a notification whenever it is I'm uploading a new YouTube video. If you would like to see more quick makeup tutorials like this, please be sure to let me know. I'm more than happy to do them. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I had a great time as always and I will see you in my next one. Bye finders. Mwah.